This is Nick from Microsoft Product Reviews, and let's take a quick look at Microsoft Office for Apple's iPad. This is a happy time for iPad users as Microsoft finally releases Office for iPad. Well, not the complete suite, but three of the most popular apps, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. OneNote was previously released and is part of the suite as the fourth Office app. However, Outlook is not available. Office has been and still is today the standard productivity suite the world uses as over a billion people are running this software. That's one in every seven people on this planet. As the world moves to the cloud, Microsoft being the second largest cloud provider behind Amazon looks to further embrace it with bringing in more iPad users in hopes of having additional subscribers to Office 365. For those of you that don't know, Apple's iCloud is actually running on Microsoft's Azure platform and Amazon Cloud Services. iPad users cannot be more productive on their tablets, but to actually edit and create documents, you'll need to subscribe to Office 365. Without a subscription, you're only able to view your documents. An Office 365 subscription will cost you $99 a year, which will give you the ability to run the latest version of Office on up to 5 PCs, Windows 8 tablets, iPads, and Macs. Microsoft throws in an extra bonus by offering extra OneDrive storage, making this a pretty sweet deal. OneDrive, formerly known as SkyDrive, is able to store all of your documents, photos, files, and videos which can sync across any device, enabling Office 365 subscribers to sync their documents across all the devices. However, you can also see the documents onto your iPad. We tested our documents created on a PC, uploaded them to OneDrive, and as we opened them on the iPad, the format remained the same. In the past, iPad users would have to use third-party alternatives for opening Office documents, but it led to disrupting the original format, which was unacceptable. Word works great and has tons of features. Microsoft selected the most popular templates for you to choose from and start creating documents. The layout's touch-friendly while having lots of capabilities and being familiar to iPad users at the same time. Inserting a photo is easy in a document. You can move it around and adjust the position that you prefer. The text will wrap itself around the photo. Positioning the cursor to the text you want is traditionally not touch-friendly, but Microsoft added a neat feature for doing this specific thing. As you press and hold the screen, a nice zoom effect takes place. It feels like looking through a loop which allows you to place the cursor much more accurately. This feature also works with Excel and PowerPoint. PowerPoint is easy to use and editing is optimized for touch. Moving things around, editing text and creating is extremely well implemented. Moving things around feels easy. Adding photos is very simple and easy to get to. Adding a text box and typing away never felt so good on a touch screen. Excel is also beautifully designed for touch and Microsoft also includes an Excel custom keyboard which is accessible by tapping the 123 icon. It includes many of the Excel common functions for implementing formulas. As the keyboard pops up, pages are displayed over the keyboard so you're still able to see which page you're on. Microsoft did a great job at implementing its world-renowned Office suite for the iPad. It works naturally and it's the real deal. Office works best when saving documents on OneDrive. You're able to pick up where you left off on a document on another device and as you continue there, it all gets uploaded automatically and your work becomes accessible to you wherever you go. However, the iPad not being a productive machine due to its outdated OS, no cursor support, and not being able to run two apps side by side makes using this software less productive, especially if you're trying to read off of something as you write at the same time, or maybe being on a Skype call as you're working. Using a keyboard on the iPad is a better experience when it comes to using Office, but without a trackpad, productivity is still degraded. We're surprisingly impressed by what Office can achieve with these limitations. But if you're buying a tablet to use Office, we much prefer Microsoft Surface Tablet, which offers this suite in its original fully functional form. It's also free and it's not tied to a subscription. It comes with Outlook and doesn't have the restrictions iOS does. For those of you who wish to use the iPad, this is the best productivity experience available on this device and it'll only get better from this moment on. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and can take something away with you. For more information, go to our website, microsoftproductreviews.com. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and stay tuned for more.